Hi, this is Dr. Eddie Morgan at Clovis East High School, ready to help you with your homework assignment. Tonight's assignment is Worksheet 5.6B in the Math 1. Remember, every problem on the homework help mirrors the problem on your, on your homework. If you have a problem with a particular homework item, uh, fast forward to that one and we should be able to help you out. So let's get started. Problem 1 asks us to solve this equation. 2 to the x plus 1 equals 4. We're going to do that by graphing, which means we're going to split this into two equations. We're going to have the right side, the left side I mean, we're going to write that as y equals 2 to the x plus 1. And then we're going to have the right side that we're going to write as y equals 4. And we're going to solve each of those and graph them. So let's start here first with f of x equals 2 to the x plus 1. Put in minus 2, so minus 2 plus 1 for x. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1, so the value is 1 half, 2 divided by, 1 divided by 2. Now 2 to the minus 1 plus 1, minus 1 plus 1 is 0, any number to the 0 power is 1. And then 2 to the 0 plus 1 is going to be 2 to the 1 or 2. 2 to the 1 plus 1 will be 2 squared or 4. And 2 to the 2 plus 1 will be 2 cubed, or 8. All right. So we can graph those now. When we go to x is minus 2, it's going to be 1 half. When x is one, negative 1, our value is 1. When x is 0, our value is 2. When x is 1, the value is 4. And when x is 2, the value is 8. So the graph of y equal 2 to the x plus 1 looks something like that. Now our other equation is simply a constant. Even though it says g of x, x isn't even in there, so it just is always 4. doesn't matter what x is, it's always going to be 4, and that's the value. So when x is negative 2, it's 4. When it's negative 1, it's 4. When it's 0, it's 4. When it's 1, it's 4. And when it's 8, it's 4. And you notice there, where do they intersect? Here's our solution at the point 1, 4. Or we're just looking for the x value. So our answer is x equals 1 is our solution. And you can check it out too. You can just plug it in. 2 to the 1 plus 1 equals 2 squared, which equals 4. So we know we have the right answer. You could also see it by looking over again at your graph and saying, where do they both equal 4? And you notice right here, they both have 4 as their answer. That's their solution, which you should have seen at the table. All right, with number 2, once again, notice that we took our equation and we split it into 2. We have an equation that is y equals one half to the x. And we have another equation which is simply y equal two. We'll make the two tables, graph them, and see where they intersect and find the x value will be our answer. So let's start here. One half to the minus two power. Remember, uh, a negative exponent means instead of multiplying by it, we're dividing. And dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I take the reciprocal here of 1 half is 2 over 1, and I change this to, to a positive, and we get 4. Likewise, 1 half to the minus 1 power just becomes 2 to the 1 power, or 2. And 1 half to the 0 power, any number to the 0 power is 1. And now we have 1 half to the 1 power is 1 half. 1 half squared is going to be 1 over 2 squared, or 1 fourth. So now if we graph these, over here, x minus 2 is going to go up to 4, negative 2, 4. Negative 1 will be 2. Uh, 1 half to the 0 power, 1. And then we have 1 half, and then 1 fourth. So our graph looks something like that taking off there. On the other side, however, we have a constant function, y is 2. There's not even an x in the equation, so no matter what we x is, it's always going to be 2. OK? 
Okay. So that means the answer here is 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. It's a straight line. And our solution here is at the point minus 1, 2. So our answer is x equals minus 1. We can double check it. 1 half to the minus 1 means 2 to the 1 or 2. That checks out. And again, we should be able to see that from the table. In this row, when x is negative 1, is negative one the answer for both of them is 2. And that is our solution. And number three, once again, we're going to split the equation into two functions, y equals 2 to the x, and on the right side, y equals minus 3. All right? We're going to graph each of these two and then find where do they intersect, where are they equal to each other, and that x value will be our solution. So let's start here with f of x equals 2 to the x, so 2 to the minus 2 power is 1 over 2 squared, or 1 fourth. 2 to the minus two, 1 is 1 over 2 to the 1 power, or 1 half. 2 to the 0 power is obviously 1. Anything to the 0 power is 1. 2 to the 1 power is 2, and 2 squared is 4. So we can graph that over here. Negative 2 is 1 fourth. 1 is 1 half, 0 is 1, 1 is 2, and 2 is 4. And we can draw a graph right here. Now on the other side, we, again we have a constant equation and it's always going to be minus 3. There is no x in the equation here. So our answer is simply minus 3 all the time. Now watch where this one graphs, however. Minus 3 is going to be here, 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 and here. And one thing you notice is they are never going to intersect. Again, remember our exponential will go on and on this way but it never goes below zero. So in other words, there's no intersection here. So what's our solution? Very simple. There is no solution. And you should see that up here in our equation because an exponent, you cannot multiply twos and ever get a negative number. Okay, that's just not impossible. That, I mean, that is impossible. So the answer to this one is no solution. And number four, once again, we're going to split the equation into two functions. On the left side, we have y equals 4 to the x plus 1, or f of x equals 4 to the x plus 1. On the right side, we're going to have y equals 16, or g of x equals 16. We'll complete a table and graph each of them, and then find where the intersection point is, and the x value will be our answer. So we start here. We have 4 to the x plus 1, so 4 to the minus 2 plus 1. Minus 2 plus 1 is 4 to the minus 1. So we divide by 4 one time, 1 fourth. Next, we have 4 to the minus 1 plus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. 4 to the 0 power, anything to the 0 power is always 1. And then 4 to the 0 plus 1 is 4 to the 1 power, or 4. 4 to the 1 plus 1 is 4 squared or 16, and 4 to the 2 plus 1 is 4 cubed, which is 54. So we'll graph that. Uh, here, when x is minus 2, we have 1 fourth, really way down here. When x is minus 1, we have 1. When x is 0, we have 4. When x is 1, we have 16. And when x is 2, we have 54. So our graph comes through like that. Now on the other side, we have a constant function again. So this is always going to be 16. There is no x in there. So whatever x is, 16 is going to be the answer. 
So we find 16 there, 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 there. And so you can see it's just the horizontal line. And here's our solution. Our solution is 1, 16. Or my answer is x equals 1. Notice if we check it out, 4 to the 1 plus 1 equals 4 squared equals 16. So that's a check. And we can even go through our table and see that when we look at this row where x is 1, they both have the same answer. So that's our solution, x equals 1. Problem 5 is actually fairly easy. It wants to know what's the values that best represent where, what's the values of x that best represent where f of x equals g of x. So let's find those points where they intersect and identify the x value. Notice on the first one here, it looks like 1, 2, back to 1, 2, 3, 4. This looks like the point minus 2, 4. And this point here, 1, 2, x is 2, 1. So what are my answers? The value here is x equal minus 2, and the value here is x equals 2. So those are the values of x where the two functions intersect. We're only interested in this time in the values of x. Problem 6 is like problem 5. We're going to find where do they intersect, where do they intersect, that's where they're equal, and what's the value of x. So this first one here intersects at minus 2, and it looks like, let's say, minus 2 and a half, minus 2.5. The other one here intersects at 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2. All right? So my answers are, I'm only looking for the values of x where they intersect, so it's x equal minus 2 and x equal 4. So those are fairly simple problems. Problem 7 asks us to solve this equation, 5 times 2x to the 20. And so it says, first of all, simplify the equation so you only have the 2x on the side. All right. So if I'm simplifying, I could write down here 5 times 2 to the x equals 20. And I can divide both sides by 5, so 5 over 1. And then that leads me to 2 to the x equals 4. So in other words, I'm going to do 2 to the x, and on this side, I'm going to do 4. All right, so that's what we're doing. We're just simplifying this to make it easier as we set this up. We could have done it just like this, but the graph would have been much bigger. So let's come down here. So I have 2 to the minus 2 is 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 fourth. 2 to the minus 1 is 1 over 2 to the 1, or 1 half. 2 to the 0 power is simply 1. 2 to the 1 is 2. 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4. And 2 cubed is 8. And then here's our constant. And so we graph. When x is minus 2, we have 1 fourth. When x is 1, we have 1 half. When x is 0, we have 1. When x is 1, we have 2. When x is 2, we have 4. And then when x is 3 here, it's going to be off the side here. And it's going to go something like that. Now on the other side, x is always 4. So our solution is right here. It's at 2, 4. In other words, our answer is x equals 2. If you check it out, come back here. 5 times 2 squared is 5 times 4, which is 20, and we have the correct answer. In this one, they've done half of the work for us. Notice they've already split it in half, and they've put it in. Let's start with the right side because it's easy. Notice it's going to be a constant, so all of these are going to be 8. All right? And so let's move over then and solve the other one. If I have 1 half to the minus 3, that's going to be the reciprocal 2 to the positive 3, which is going to be 8. All right? Now, 1 half to the minus 1 is going to be the reciprocal to the positive 1, or 2. And then 1 half to the 1 is simply 1 half. 
or if we're putting in a decimal like here that would be 0 0.5 okay so let's graph it when x is minus 3 our answer is 8 when x is minus 2 the answer is 4 when x is minus 1 we're down to 2 when x is 0 it's 1 and then we have 1 half or and 1 fourth so our graph looks like this our constant function is at 8 so 8 8 8 8 8 or cross here and our solution is there at minus 3 8 so our answer is x equals minus 3 and if we check it out 1 half to the minus 3 means the reciprocal 2 to the positive 3 or 8 and that works and you can see that up here in your graph as well all right i hope this has been helpful to you